Let's talk a little bit about an update on our COVID-19 situation in Sheboygan and Sheboygan County. Uh, today, uh, on Monday, as we review the numbers for the active cases, there's 48 active cases that are currently being reported to the Sheboygan County Public Health Department. Last week, uh, this was 44, so we have an increase of four cases since last Monday. There are six active cases, and that's down from 12 active cases last week. There are currently no hospitalizations, and that's an improvement because last week we had four hospitalizations. And uh, there's 40 people now that have recovered uh, from their designation as a positive COVID case, and that's up from 30 reported last week. And then there were two deaths, and those deaths were associated with the outbreak at the uh, Sunny Ridge Nursing Home. So I really appreciate the efforts of all of our residents to uh, stay safer at home, uh, produce some great numbers. Uh, while we would like to see these numbers totally go away, I think we're much better off than many other communities around the state of Wisconsin. Last week, Governor Evers um, brought a new program forward, the Badger Bounce Back Program, and this loosened some of the restrictions uh, that are in place in our, in our state. So the city made some adjustments. Number one, the Valrath Park Disc Golf Course opened on Friday. Uh, this along with the JC uh, Disc Golf Course, which was already open, um, will allow uh, golfers to get some exercise and have some fun outdoors. We asked the golfers to please maintain social distancing and or mask up uh, so that uh, we don't have any problems there. The city does reserve the right to close those courses up if those social distancing measures are not uh, followed. So hopefully uh, for the benefit of everyone, I hope that they are. The Mead Library made some changes. Uh, the Mead Library had been allowing Wi-Fi access and that'll continue in the parking lot or uh, in the area around the library. In addition to that, uh, they are working to make uh, drive-by pickup of library materials available. Uh, that should be operational by next uh, week, Monday, on May 4th. And uh, you can check their website for either a web form or you can call in to order materials for pickup. Uh, when you arrive, there will be an opportunity to go to a table where your order is placed and then pick those up and take those home. Uh, next, uh, the food trucks at Valrath Park will not be allowed uh, to uh, take place until further restrictions are lifted. We appreciate the cooperation of the food, tr food truck operators. Uh, while a food truck can operate independently in uh, one area by itself uh, with uh, residents calling in an order to pick up, uh, just like a restaurant is, uh, we cannot maintain the social distancing in the other parts of the Badger Bounce Back program if we have a huge amount of people come to Valrath Park, which is normally the case on Monday nights. So we'll have to wait a little bit longer for that to start up. Next, as part of the CARES Act, the city received uh, $560,000 in uh, what we call community op block grant uh, dollars. And the CDBG funds are part of the CARES Act. And we seg segregated $400,000 of those funds to um, have a job retention forgivable micro loan fund. And this was approved by the council at last Monday night's meeting. And this program uh, will give loans of between $3,000 and $15,000 to businesses that agree to retain a job on their sale, on their force, or on their business. And uh, this uh, right now is going through a five day waiting period. And by January 4th, we'll be able to start accepting applications for this program. Now, uh, with the monies that we're able to make available, we figure that uh, we should be able to help out somewhere between 28 and 30 different businesses. So it's not gonna be the end all for everyone, but this is a program that we hope will fill the gaps for some of the businesses that haven't been able to find any um, uh, help with uh, the other programs that the federal government has made available. And uh, we're gonna prioritize uh, this to businesses that haven't received any other federal assistance. 
And then our transit department continues to give free rides and they do have to restrict the riders to 10 people per bus. So at some bus routes, this may be an issue, but this will allow the people on the bus to maintain their social distance and stay safe. Sheboygan to fire, fire Department has participated in some birthday drive-bys for some kids last week. Uh, they also participated in a drive-by for a 90-plus-year-old veteran of World War II. So they're happy to get out there and uh, be a little active in the community. So we want to remind everybody to stay safer at home, uh, wear a mask when you're in public, uh, keep your social distance, remember to cover your cough, and to only gather in, in groups of 10 people or less. So again, stay safer at home and have a great week.